Welcome back to the Jones Zone, guys. Today we're going to be getting into the rapture. Yeah, we've got some Christians who don't believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. I've been there before. But uh, once I started taking my Bible studies a little bit more serious, then I found a, I found a few scriptures that support the occurrence of what will be the pre-tribulation rapture. So uh, we'll start off with Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10 where it reads, For they themselves declare concerning us what manner of entry we had to you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, who delivered us from the wrath to come. Wrath, guys? What is the wrath to come? It's the Great Tribulation. And I'll confirm it for you. Okay, let's go to Revelations chapter 3, verse 10, where it reads, Because you have kept my command to preserve, I also will keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown. Okay, so what's the hour of trial? Uh, one may ask. It's the tribulation. And God is going to keep those Christians who have persevered to keep his word and those who have not denied his name from going through all of the hell on earth that will happen during the great tribulation. This is not a joke. So here's what the pre-tribulation rapture is going to be like. Okay, so let's go to Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16. For the Lord himself would ascend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to be the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Okay, so the Lord is going to come down with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God sounding off. And the dead are going to rise first. Remember, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So the spirits of the dead are going to reunite with their bodies. And that will then be risen from the grave or reassembled from wherever. And then they'll be resurrected and raptured up to heaven. And then those who remain and are still living, your body is going to change. And you're going to be snatched up into the sky to be caught up with the Lord. Okay, guys. If you had told me something like this a year ago, I wouldn't believe any of it. I was so caught up in the, the whole uh, rational, logical way of doing things that I wouldn't have believed any of this. I would have been like, what? You, souls are going to be joined in the bodies and resurrection and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, um, this, this kind of stuff defies the, you know, clearly defies the laws of physics, you know. But now, knowing what I know... Guys, I believe every bit of it. And it is going to be glorious. And lastly, you should be careful not to get into these pre-tribulation rapture videos. And here's why. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, Jesus says, But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So when people are having these dreams saying, Jesus told me he's coming at this time, and you know, around this time or on that day, and it'll it'll be before this event or that event. You have to remember that that's not scripture, because Jesus doesn't even know the time of the rapture. Okay, so if people are giving you timelines, you know, uh, exact uh, timelines, especially if it comes down to the day. Okay, of all of these uh, rapture dates, this means that they're claiming to have knowledge. That only he, the Heavenly Father, should possess. And that's not right. Okay, and for those Christians who say God the Father told them when the rapture would be, that's not right either. Because if God the Father told you when it was going to happen, then that means God the Father isn't the only one who knows. It would be you and him and all the other millions of people he told, which contradicts what Jesus said. Making him a liar. And you don't want to go down that road. Okay, so with that being said, there's really no way to know when the rapture is going to happen. Okay, 
you have to be ready, guys. The only thing you can do is that you, you just have to be ready all the time and wait on the master to return. That means you have to keep your house in order because you don't really know when he's returning. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Stay blessed.